Hello, this is James McCorn, and today we are going to be doing a unboxing video of the Shadow PC Micro Console. Now, their claim to fame is that the essentially cloud service should replace your PC at home uh, probably for the rest of your life, or so they claim. Just peel back that sticker there. Try and, uh, oh, I'm going to have to bring it up close. Oh, man, it's a lot of uh, contact here. So uh, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Right, so uh, it comes in this nice box. I'm just going to open it up. And Oh, interesting. Uh, this is one of their special edition ones. First 200 people get one of these nice... Uh, shadow stickers that they attach to the console uh, so what we're looking at here is probably two usb 3.0 ports two display ports a ethernet jack the power button it looks like the power adapter is on the top uh, it's on the bottom there's no connector there this is probably the front which means more accurately this is the front uh, you have your headphone and microphone jack usb ports uh, look like usb 2 and that's pretty much the console. So I'm going to just set that right here real quick. I'm going to go through. Uh, take off this nice foam here. Get this nice signed shadow card. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. Um, just to be clear, um, this is not sponsored by Shadow at all. When I saw that they came to the United States and California, I was probably one of the first person, uh, first people to... First, ah, <laughs> first person to actually sign up for their service, and I've been using it quite extensively. Uh, it's this nice little um, shadow user's guide. Let's go ahead and quickly take a quick peek there. It looks like it tells you how to set everything up properly. And it looks like in different languages. Okay, let's take a look at the next part. And it looks like the power adapter. So I was correct. That plug was hooked in. It's like a standard... Um, Standard power adapter here, 19 volts. Looks like they include a display port to HDMI cable. That's going to be very, very nice. And they also include the power. So that's the console. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fire it up and see you in the next video. Okay, this is the shadow box fully hooked up. First boot. It's all in French. Hopefully they'll offer an option to switch to English as soon as it's going through its first boot here. Oh, it looks like there was a bit of a BIOS code. There's a number counting here. That's probably the way to interrupt its boot sequence. Oh, interesting. I'll have to review that footage. Oh, speaker pop. So again, another loading window, a screen I could not see. And it is not in English, but we could solve that quickly. Okay, so the options are down there. You have options of improved quality. Of course, I want it to remember me. And I will log in and I'll see you right back. Okay, I have logged in. And now we are going through the initial update sequence so why it's going through this I guess I'll talk about why I decided to get the shadow box over their apps simple simple answer for me uh, that is simply I wanted a clearer interface and what I mean by that is though it could go through Windows or Android or even Mac the 
clarity of the stream is not as good as, say, if you had dedicated micro console hardware, like this one will be. And you'll see what I mean in just a moment. This is a 1080p 60 frames per second screen. And the difference in sharpness is going to be readily apparent once this initially boots up. I had the opportunity to go to a shadow event where they had roughly 20 micro consoles running at a brewery in San Francisco. And the clarity of the screen was amazing. I was playing on a 4K 60 frames per second monitor playing Battlefield 1. And this had absolutely no problem in making uh, it appear as if I was gaming on a $2,000 machine. So one of the questions, though, that I'm, I'm quickly going to have to figure out is why in the world does it take so long in the boot up? It might be because it's receiving an update. I, I really don't know. But uh, it would be really nice to know why it's taking so long. <sighs> hmm. These are are nice. Oh. Okay, we are in the shadow machine. You could bring up this control panel by pressing the power button. I have to blank out my account. But as you can see, here is the full desktop. I am going to go ahead and close out the control panel here and uh, we're back on the main home screen now the shadow box actually has two video inputs and I have one hooked up right here and it works out fantabulous on the other hand though not so much you see uh, this monitor is hooked up and it uh, well it clearly uh, does not work so let me go ahead and disconnect it. It's kind of sad, but uh, you know, now you know, Shadow Box only supports one monitor, uh, but it works really, really well. And with that, that's all I have to say. This is James McCorn, signing off.